Hey guys, it's Darkshot the Poisoner here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Star Wars Bounty Hunter, and we are getting shot at. Because I thought I was safe, but we're not really safe. There's a guy right there. Oh, dodging bullets. It's the Matrix. Um, yeah, I was actually explaining to my dad today, believe it or not. Um, I was explaining the fact that, uh, or like, I was kind of explaining what slowdown was to him, and how in this game you'll get slowdown when you dodge rockets, like I was jumping over rockets that one, or in the last episode, I think it was. Um, when I was jumping over rockets, you get, like, a little bit of slowdown whenever a rocket is fired near you. So, uh, it, whenever you jump over a rocket, it looks like you go into, like, the Matrix and, like, you slow, you get really slow when you, when it fires past you, and it's like, and it just looks cool. And that would be a audible representation of the Matrix. It sounds kind of like this. Dude, really? Who do you think you are? Running around and leaving scars. Collecting your jar of hearts. I'm not even sure if those are the lyrics to that song. Correct me if I'm wrong. That rhymed as well. Put that in the song. Um, where do we need to be going? We have disabled all three power reactors. We need to steal a prototype ship, and we have one more bounty to go. I'm just sitting here wasting time. I have no idea why. Um, it's usually unlike me. Especially in Star Wars Mounty Hunter. Oh, seriously, there's a dude right underneath me as well. You're gonna do that to me, game? Let's, uh, grab one of these spawning health packs. And, uh, no, this is where we need to go, is it? Isn't it? I thought it was. Um, yeah, because this is where the four enemies spawn. You always go where the enemies spawn. Of course. Video game logic, Bob. Duh. Mandalorian knife checkpoint. That's nice. Um, da -da 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 -da. sound of Bob thinking again. Oh, this room! No! Target the turret! Target the turret! Oh, gods. Jump down, there's a health pack. Target the turret. Kill the guys! Now you, now you know why I said, oh god, this room, before I went into this room. Ah, oh, there's so many guys, my thumb hurts. <sighs> Whew. Well, that'll get your adrenaline going. And I do believe... I'm actually going to be sneaky about this. Because, like, there's going to be some corridors around here. Um... One corridor in particular has a bounty. So you and then this this count this bounty I think we need to keep alive because he's the fifth one. Yep. Oh. I saw Hello. It's not him. By the way, thought I put that out there. Hey. I was wondering, uh, where are the fists? Okay, they're right there. One, two, one. Okay. Oh! He's in here. There he is. Well, let's grab out our lasso. No! Stop targeting the same guy! Wow. Okay, that's the last bounty. Yeah, from here on out, pretty much targeting is going to be your main enemy because in this next boss fight that's coming up uh, it's going to be a hassle I'm trying to keep targeted on what you want to be targeted on hello my name is Jango Fett and I've come to take your spaceship so I can get out of this prison can you blow up the sign? nope that's lame. Open door, open. Don't force Django Fett to moonwalk any more than he already can. Uh, 
Ah, oh, three episodes in one day. Wow. Never done that much Bounty Hunter. Never, ever. I think. Yeah, this is where we gotta fight the boss. No talking here, so I'll just do voiceovers. Uh, big spider thing, question mark? It's a cool looking boss. I will say that much. I'll give it that much cred. Um, I'm gonna keep off, uh, keep off. Um, keep out my blasters for the time being, so that we can take out these guards that are running toward us. Where's the second one? Oh, that was the second one. I got him. Okay, so once you have that, if you were smart enough and you kept her on your large blaster, uh, go ahead and unload it into this thing while strafing around. It's a very good idea. To uh, have this blaster, and uh, I died. I don't know why. Wait, where are all those mis- Oh, I, I know. Derp. Sorry. Um, I got too close. <laughs> Luckily, I still have my five continues. I'm not afraid of using continues. There's no shame in it. Yeah, I just got too close. Sorry about that. You're supposed to. You're not supposed to strafe all the way around it because then you'll get too close to it. You're supposed to stay around here and uh, do this. This is a pretty easy boss fight, actually. And then just do that with the missile. Yeah, see, you could. You might have been able to see the slowdown that happens there. Um, yeah, missiles do come out of the top. That's what I was um, doing wrong. There is a Slave 1 all the way on the other side over there. And, oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. With the auto-targeting. Um, it's gonna always auto-target the boss. And these little enemies are gonna be spouting up from the sides. So it's gonna be a nuisance to shoot the, the enemies rather than the boss. Uh, that's that. And we should be activating a cutscene by shooting this a couple times. But, yeah, there we go. Um, in that Slave 1 over there, there is a Mandalorian Rage, so if you ever get caught in a um, predicament, you can go and pick that up at any moment. And uh, there we go! So, two bounties killed for 4,000 credits, three captured for 13,500 credits, total earnings 17,500 credits, that's a total you can get, and we found the secret, and all in about 40 minutes. Cool! Now it's time for cutscenes, obviously. Cutscene time. Let's go. Destic traffic in this system was stopped by the Republic some time ago. Smugglers were offered reduced prison terms for information. Grofhog, lie to me! Are any of these smugglers still alive? Bendix Fust, currently an inmate on Uvo 4. Checking status. Bendix Fust is also wanted alive by Malastare Crime Lord Sebolto. Reward is 50,000. Incoming transmission. There are reports of a riot on Uvo 4. All contact with the prison has ceased. Well, now. It looks like Django Fett is still in the game. <laughs> Is the prisoner secure in the hold? Bound and tranquilized. You're Django Fett, aren't you? I've heard of you, you know. I'm Zam Wazel. You must be new to the business. Why? Because you haven't heard of me? No, because you're reckless. You could learn a thing or two about being subtle. You call that subtle? You just brought down a Republic prison. My plan didn't include you, or the chaos you started back there. You cost me my ship. My plan didn't include you trying to hijack my prisoner. Anyway, you should thank me. This babe is a big improvement over that relic. I've never seen a ship like this. What is she, anyway? She's a fire spray pursuit special. One of six prototypes manufactured for the prison. She's the last of her kind now. Won't the correctional authority hunt her down? I've deactivated her transponder. They'll assume she was destroyed with the rest. We're in the clear. We're ready for the jump to light speed. Let's see what she can do.
So what now? We deliver first, split the bounty 50-50? No. You're going to deliver first. I've got other plans. You're working another job, aren't you? Listen, if you want my help, you better include me. You're lucky I don't kill you. I'm allowing you to tag along because you might be useful. Do as you're told, and there may be something in it for you. I suppose you have a plan? Send a bolt of transmission, they'll let you land, and then they'll search the ship. So you'll drop me off in the jungles, outside the compound. I'll work my way to the canyon across from you. Try to get invited to stay. Sneak out and find a way for me to cross. They'll take your weapon, so I'll cover you from the cliff. How can you be sure Sabolto will want me to hang around after I deliver first? You'll be charming. 